What's up, y'all? Welcome to The Real Reality Show. My name is David Shelton, and we're taking that social media fame bus right to the top. On the stop today, we're back in my hometown of Pittsburgh, Texas. Pittsburgh is located in Northeast Texas, and there's a little bit that makes this town so special, more than just Carol Shelby, Pilgrim's Pride, and the Lazy Boy Refiner. We're paying homage to the one and only Pittsburgh Hot Links today. Not only are we going inside, but we're actually gonna do a food challenge with some guests and friends of the show. Let's do this. And what you always must do when you come to Pittsburgh Hot Links. I'm kidding, you don't have to kiss the floor, but you know what? You gotta pay respect where respect is due. All right, I'm here with Travis. Travis, what's up, man? What up, bitch? How you doing? Now, Travis is the manager of Pittsburgh Hot Links, and so you were just telling me this restaurant's been in your family for a while. My grandpa started in 55. Um, not in this location, there's the Busy Bee, which is actually on this block. Um, and he started making hot links there. Um, he actually rented part of the meat market from the Busy Bee and started making hot links. How long has Pittsburgh Hot Links been around in general? Uh, there's a German man named Charlie Hasselbeck, and in 1897, he brought hot links here. I and mean, he had a meat market. And what he started doing was taking his leftover scrap meats, and he would grind them, season them, stuff them in a case in time, and sell them. You know, there's no waste. Wow. In that day, you know, so um, he just used everything he had and sold them. It was a cheap meal, and so it became popular. And then a uh, hundred years ago today, in 1918, he actually started selling hot links cooked. So he didn't cook them for those 20 years. So you're telling me that they used to just eat them raw? <laughs> Is I hope not. I mean, I mean, it's their choice, but I'm okay. sure that they, they probably smoked them. Yeah, okay, back, you know. <laughs> good to know. <laughs> okay, so tell me this, what's what's actually in a Pittsburgh hot link? Is it beef? Is it pork? People have debated. What it is, is it? It is beef. It's a very fatty beef, of course, you can tell from all the grease. But um, it is a beef link, and then the casing is a pork, natural pork casing. Cool. So, uh, We're back in the kitchen where they had these a, a little bit retro ovens. I'm going to be honest, Travis. This is where all the hot links are cooked? Where all the hot links are cooked. Uh, and they were actually built in 84, as you can see here. 1984. Uh, but they still, they're still kicking. Yeah. And uh, at the same time, they built all the wood out there. All that stuff was custom built, you know, in the front, the boots, and the benches, and everything. It was 1984 as well. Uh, but thanks. This is it. Yeah, we, we hang them in here on sticks and they cook at really high temperature, about 400 to 450 degrees. You can see the bubbles go, the, you all can the see grease. Them frying from the inside out there. You That's know. magic, man. That's yeah, beautiful. Uh, we hang them on, on wooden sassafras sticks. We shave them down and, and soak them and, and hang them on those, and they last you know, a so, little over a month. Do you think the sassafras is, is part of the key that gives them the flavor, or do you think these? ovens that have been used for literally 30 years. It's definitely the ovens. I mean, the, the sticks, you can use something different if you wanted to. You could use metal, you know, but I mean, we, we chose to use that forever. And uh, it definitely, definitely is the ovens because you can go and try to cook it somewhere else and it's just not going to come out the same. I know. You got to try it, y'all. I mean, really, there's a way that you can order them. They're in grocery stores all over Northeast Texas, but you also can go on their website and uh, you can order it straight from here to wherever you are. All right, y'all, here we go. We're gonna do this little food challenge. We're trying over 100 hot links among these four rascals. I don't even know what to really think of this. Down here at the end, we got Mr. Billy Mac. Billy Mac, what's up, buddy? Yeah. You excited about this? Oh, yeah. Good, he was the one that just got waxed with me that uh, if you saw the end of the episode, it's gold. And then if you saw the Sir Strongy Challenge where we ate the most awful food in the entire world, I got Jennifer right over here. What's up, girl? What's up? Are you excited about this? I'm excited. Can you really eat some links? We'll see. Okay. And of course, you know yours truly, but then we got Mr. Keith Whitmore right over here to the left. And uh, he's already got a cheering session. This is so unfair. What he did is he paid a couple people to call. You got 10 minutes, eat as many as you can. Five, four, three, two, one, go. Don't be scared now, y'all. Oh, man, they don't burn hard. They are hot. Woo, good saving. Mm. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, where's all the hearts? Yeah, where's the heart? Mmm. I'm on number three. I'm on number three. Uh, 
They're having a hot dog eating contest next weekend. I'll be able to host and eat at the same time. And now all the hot dogs reach the belly. Jennifer, how many have you eaten? Um, Are you burning up? I think like 17 or so. Oh, okay. Something like that. Consider this about 13 because they just grind up the hot wings to make the chili out of them. So that's like that. <laughs> Dang it. So guys, even if you don't live in or near Pittsburgh, anybody within you know a 500 mile radius, there's really no excuse. You can just take a little trippy trip and get down here for a Saturday or Sunday. But if you can't do that, please go to pittsburghhotlink.com to order some because they do the uh, mail order type stuff. <laughs> She, you look like she's blasting a smile on because she's about to like throw up. I always get nervous at a sausage <laughs> fest. <laughs> With that being said, thank you guys for tuning in. Be sure you like and subscribe if you're on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, please share the video. That's a lot of likes. Two minutes. How many did you eat, Billy Mac? I don't know. This is my third. This is your third, third hot wing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I keep going back to the Twenty-seven. All right. So let me get these guys. I think he's to the twenty-four and ten. So that's thirty-four on him so far. Okay. We'll say a dozen. I brought the intimidation. Three, two, one. We're done. Here's the other round of applause, y'all. And we got some awards to give out. I think first place we'll give it to Mr. Billy Mack right here. Give it a round. That first place comes with a little bottle of Tums, sponsored by the Real Alex Show. Because I'm, I'm, we're all gonna need a couple. And then, of course, in this day and age, gosh, you can't even get away with giving out one trophy. Everybody deserves a trophy. I'm participating. I'm participation ribbon. But I will tell you, you'll also be a room winner if you can check it out. Pittsburgh Holly. That, there's nothing more I can say. So it's just, you ready for some more? All right, let's do it. Try. Just changed. It's good. You are an official Pittsburgh guy. You're officially um, <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> You're a real man. It's gonna be more spicy than the it, uh, it's delicious. It's really delicious. So, alright y'all, peace. They didn't really it didn't really affect me that bad. They got cool and went hard to get them down. I'm not just try that though. You got How's the chili? It's good. Catch drop it and I can get off her thing. Yeah. She's already made, buddy. I probably already won the contest. I feel like, you know, you gave her more than the money. David, I told you I only eat like four anyway. Did you say that? Yeah. Oh, I know. Look at me. Did you think I was going to be good? No. Did you feel like. I think you could probably get a dozen. The fact that you asked me to do it. Yeah. I thought you'd get a dozen. Yeah. Yeah. Just because you'd step it in because you didn't have to waste the bread and get it on. You know, she <laughs> I tried. <laughs>